the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we enter into this celebration, we celebrate the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And the power of the Gospel today is that her Magnificat expresses her whole life story. And it invites all of us to be a part of that story. So as we enter into this celebration, we take a moment and we ask for God's love and mercy to touch our hearts and to heal us of our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God the Father's right hand who intercedes for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And let us now lift our voices and give glory and praise to God. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant that, always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the Ark of His Covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. 
Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order, Christ the first fruits. Then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, where he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord shall come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached the ear, my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and he has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This beautiful, wonderful Gospel really is the completion of what we have been so wonderfully blessed with, and that is Mary's yes opened herself up to the birth of Jesus, our Savior. But it was this moment that was so touching and so beautiful because she goes to her cousin Elizabeth and both of them are pregnant. And Elizabeth in her older age, Mary in a much younger age, but it's this wonderful greeting of two women who expressively thank God for the gift of life that they are carrying within them. I had a beautiful experience last uh, Saturday. Um, there is a couple, Missy and Joe, and Missy and Joe always come to me. I had their wedding, and this was their seventh wedding anniversary, except this time, Missy told me, I'm not telling mom and dad and all of uh, Joe's parents and all of the relatives, they're gonna come for the blessing, Father, but I'm going to let them know I'm pregnant. And what an ex exceptionally beautiful moment that was. So I gave them the blessing and then Missy said, I have a gift for you. And she pulled out a gift and gave it to all the, Joe's parents, her parents, and, and all of the guests. And here it was, congratulations, you're a grandpa or you're a aunt. All of these wonderful, wonderful congratulatory moments and tears, oh my gosh, the tears, including myself just thinking that I was a part of this moment and it was so beautiful and so moving. Mary touches our hearts because it was her yes that is our yes. It is her openness that brings our Lord to each and every one of us. And it, what we celebrate is that she was assumed into heaven, body and soul, after what she had completed, as we celebrate the greeting and the birth of Jesus and his whole life and what she sacrificed. So she did recognize the greatness of God in her life, but she also recognized those moments in which he never left her side. And she had painful moments, especially standing beneath the foot of the cross. For all mothers, there's that moment of excitement just for Missy and for Joe to celebrate the birth of their child, but also there are moments where parents celebrate and there are moments there are parents that have tears. Um, it's very painful to see a child suffer. It's very painful to see a child go through difficult moments. And certainly 
it's the most painful experience that I have ever experienced is the death of a child. And so when we go through these moments and we celebrate, but we also have to take care to recognize that God is always there, always touching our hearts. And Mary's song, as she is taken into heaven, Mary's song becomes our song of recognizing the strength of God in our life, but also those moments in which pain and sadness can overtake us. And I think I'm moved so much because of the fact that I was excited and so excited for Missy, but I also have been in moments where there's just been pain and sadness too, for mothers and dads to experience that loss. And I'm in this in-between as we rejoice about Mary and her presence and what she all did, but I also know that we can go to Mary. She's been there. She understands joy, but she also understands sadness. So as we gather today and we celebrate, I'm so moved by these readings, but also the depth of Mary and her involvement in our lives and what she reflects for each and every one of us. So let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the power of the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With faith and our belief in our Lord Jesus and also the intercession of Mary, we present our needs. For the church, that we may always look to Mary as a model of faithfulness to God's will, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For God's blessing upon all women who are expecting that they may be safe and well cared for as they anticipate giving birth to children made in the image of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our Lord. prayer. For those raising children in different circumstances, that they may find Mary's inspiration and encouragement, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may trust in God's promise of mercy as Mary did, and share that mercy with one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For petitions that we hold deep inside our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for day, today's Mass intention, our parishioners, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving, loving God, you blessed Mary in so many ways as she is our model, our inspiration, as we lift these prayers today and always. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my offering and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts, aflamed with the fire of love, constantly long for you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and the image of your church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb since from her own body, she marvelously brought forth your incarnate son, the author of all life. And so in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, Richard, Jeffrey, James, our auxiliary bishops, all the clergy, and all of you, God's holy people. And we remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So we gather our hearts this day as we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to all of your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. And set, let us offer each other a sign of peace, a spiritual sign of peace to one another. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
and let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, as we ask you to grant, O Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed in the heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we turn to the Blessed Mother, and we pray for her intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Chestahova, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great day, everybody.